will see the development of lateral surfaces. Uh, basically, uh, this subject is very very important. This topic is very very important uh, regarding the application um, in engineering. There are so many applications uh, considered in development of the uh, lateral surfaces. It can be used in aircraft. It can be used in classroom by engineering. Uh, while looking any component, you know uh, the development of these uh, surfaces. While opening, you to take uh, the rectangle, or you can say the square prism, and you can say here hexagonal prism. Here, uh, if you want to open, hmm, if you want to open, or if you want to see the inside, hmm, uh, the parts, uh, parts inside the uh, square prism. So we have to open this. We have to flatten uh, this portion on a flat plane or on one plane. So. Uh, in the same manner, we can say here, this is a cylinder, we can open along the perimeter, you see here, we can open in that way, we can open in that way, we can flatten on the plane surface. So, this is actually perimeter, pi d, we are opening here, this distance is pi d, perimeter, okay. Same way here, if you see the perimeter, perimeter here. Of the base surface. So here, uh, if you consider, we are opening the base surface. So one, two, three, four. Perimeter is four into base length of the square prism. So we can see the development here. Same thing here in hexagon. There are six surfaces, six surfaces, six edges. So here again there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 into length of base surfaces that is very very important here. So we are uh, patterning uh, this prism on the <coughs> plane surface, on the plane surface, that's why we can say this is a development, this is a development or on the plane surface or and why considering this, this is the thickness of this prism or uh, hexagonal prism or square is very very thin material. It is a very very thin metal, just, just like a plane, huh? just like a plane. That's why we can open that and we are neglecting thickness, we are drawing here. Now, we will take one problem here, development of the hexagonal prism, say, um, uh, basically, uh, orthographics is very very important. If you see, this is the first angle position method, where top view is a hexagon. Top view is a hexagonal surface and front view, this is a rectangle surface, rectangle surface. Now here, uh, the part is very very important, front view we are drawn above x y line, top view we are drawn on the below x y line. So this is the first angle position method, first angle position method, where prism is kept in front of you. So this is the hexagonal prism, while looking here, while looking here, we can see the size the hexagonal prism or projections in that way and while looking from the top side you will see the head shot huh? on one point. Same thing I have um, nomenclature here A, B, C, D, E, F. Huh? Okay. Uh, while drawing you just remember that, that this angle is 120 degree. Uh, I think you know how to draw the hexagon. So A, B, C, D. Look, there, there are six faces. Six faces again here. Huh? Same projections. We are drawn on the front plane, uh, front view. So, uh, while giving the name, this is very very important. I started from here. A, B, C, D, E, F. Same thing, A is here, 1 is here. Again, 1, this A is a bottom part. A is a bottom part. And 1 is a top part. Top part. So, hexagonal prism. This is hexagonal prism. A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4, E, 5, F, 6. So this is very very important. Now we have to move for the development. Development while uh, drawing the development here. Just remember that the base uh, base length is very very important here. Base length. Suppose this base length is a 30 and height of the hexagonal prism is 60. Base length 30. Height of the hexagonal prism is 60. Now here uh, perimeter of the all base surface here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
while giving the names A, B, C, D, E, F again A because this is closing and we are opening. Now this is the closing part, so this common line we are opening. So A, A, and then one, one. Okay, A, A, and one, one. This is very, very important. So you take this distance, okay, and at the same height we are opening this, we are tapping this hexagonal prism. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the hexagonal prism. So this is the main part of the uh, development of the hexagonal prism. This is a simple practice. Simple practice I am explaining here. Now in next next part we will uh, go to the cutting plane or section plane. Thank you.